Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we are looking for the stationary values and uh, by using uh, by using n order n derivative test. By using n derivative test, we will find the stationary values uh, whether they are relative maxima, minima, or infl uh, inflation uh, inflection point. So first of all, what is the n uh, derivative and what are the conditions of n uh, n uh, derivative test? First of all, first condition is what? A relative maxima, uh, a relative maxima, maxima if n is even, if n is even. n means uh, number of derivative is even, like 2, 4, 6. If we take a 2 derivative or 6 derivative or 4 derivative, and the answer is non zero not zero non zero then relative maxima like say uh, f of n into x is greater than zero uh, sorry less than zero less than zero so we can say a relative maxima now second condition a relative minima a relative minima if n is odd number n is odd number like if we take the derivative of third derivative five derivative seven derivative and the n derivative will be greater than zero than a relative minima and the last point that is a c point uh, inflection point if n is odd and inflection point is what inflection point is what happens when n if n is odd when n derivative is odd then like that if we take a n derivative and n derivative is in the form of odd then it is also called an inflection point so these are the three points which we have to be keep in mind uh, that what are the conditions uh, and what we have to do for this. Now we can take the uh, questions and try to solve these questions. Now first question is y is equal to x minus 1 whole cube plus 16. Uh, now we solve this question. Uh, first of all I, I would like to say that is f of x equal to x minus 1 whole cube plus 16. Now we take the first derivative. Ab hum isko kya karenge? Hum iska pehla derivative lehenge. So first derivative, uh, hum yaha be power rule lagayenge. We use power rule. So 3x minus 1 and derivative of uh, x minus 1 uh, without power. Yani humne sabse pehle kya kiya? हमने पावर रूल लगाया ठीक है 16 का चूंकि जीरो हो जाना है तो ये इसका दोबारा हमने डेरिवेटिव ले लिया तो ये क्या आ गया 3 x 1 होल स्क्वायर और x का डेरिवेटिव क्या आ गया 1 तो ये मेरे पास फर्स्ट डेरिवेटिव आ गया ये मेरे पास क्या आ गया फर्स्ट डेरिवेटिव आ गया अब ये जो फर्स्ट डेरिवेटिव है ये जो है फर्स्ट डेरिवेटिव बिकम्स इक्वल टू अ जीरो कब फॉर स्टेशनरी वैल्यू या क्रिटिकल पॉइंट्स के लिए for stationary values for stationary values so 3 into x minus 1 whole square equal to 0 x minus 1 equal to 0 x it becomes equal to a 1 when we put when I put x equal to 1 x equal to 1 in the first derivative like that I can say that is a first derivative 3 into x minus 1 whole square now I can put the derivative of value of 1. When we put the value of 1, then what is what will be this? 3 into 1 minus 1 whole square that equal to a 0. So first derivative that is a first derivative equal to a 0. Now take the second derivative. So again power rule we can use. Hum yaha pe power rule laga lenge. So 6 into x minus 1 ajayega. Again, I put the value of x is equal to 1. I put the value of x is equal to 1. I put the value of x is equal to 1. I put the value of x is equal to 1. I put the value of x is equal to 1. I put the value of x is equal to 1. I put the value of x is equal to 1. I put the value of x
अगेन सिक्स वन माइनस वन इक्व होल स्के दैट इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ टेक द थर्ड डेरिवेटिव व्हाट अबाउट द थर्ड डेरिवेटिव थर्ड डेरिवेटिव विल बी एस सिक्स इसका थर्ड डेरिवेटिव क्या आ जाएगा वो सिक्स आ जाएगा दैट विल बी अ नॉन जीरो यही तो हमें चाहिए थी दैट विल बी अ नीडेड वट विल बी द नॉन जीरो वैल्यूज फ्रॉम द डेरीवेटिव एंड डेरीवेटिव नाउ लुक एट दिस द थर्ड डेरीवेटिव लाइक एन डेरीवेटिव इज एन ऑड दिस विल बी एन ऑड ऑड एन डेरीवेटिव डेरीवेटिव सो आई कैन से दैट दैट द वट विल बी द एन इन्फ्लेक्शन पॉइंट दैट इज इफ आई पुट वन हेयर दैट इज x इज इक्वल टू वन अगर मैं यहाँ x की जगह वन पुट करूँ तो मेरे पास f ट्रिपल वन इक्वल टू सिक्स तो ये मेरा क्या कहलाएगा ये इन्फ्लेक्शन पॉइंट कहलाता है ये पॉइंट क्या कहलाता है इन्फ्लेक्शन पॉइंट ठीक हो गया आई जस्ट अगेन रिपीट इट दैट आई हैव टेक टेकन द फर्स्ट डेरिवेटिव सेकेंड डेरिवेटिव एंड थर्ड डेरिवेटिव एंड आई वुड लाइक टू सी वेयर the derivative is non zero and then we i will see that the power of that derivative is what that is odd or even that will be an odd function odd derivative and derivative is an odd so all derivative is also an inflection point so what i can put the value of x equal to 1 then will result is 6 so this will be a uh, f of 1 equal to 6 this is the फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ 9.6 एक्सरसाइज द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन अगेन by using uh, n derivative test uh, find the stationary values first of all i can write it f of x equal to 5 minus 2x power 4 plus 8 uh, now i would like to take the first derivative hum sabse pehle iska pehla derivative lenge to pehla derivative kya aayega power rule 4 into 5 minus 2x 3 and again derivative of uh, without power 5 minus 2x and uh, what is the derivative of 8 will be a zero so 4 into 5 minus 2x power 3 and what will be the derivative that is the minus 2 so result will be minus 8 into 5 minus 2x whole cube now for uh, critical uh, for stationary values for stationary values uh, f uh, first derivative becomes equal to a zero फर्स्ट डेरिवेटिव बिकम्स इक्वल टू अ जीरो सो माइनस एट इंटू फाइव माइनस टू एक्स होल पा क्यूब इक्वल टू जीरो सो फाइव माइनस टू एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो एंड एक्स इक्वल टू फाइव अपॉन टू दिस विल बी अ वैल्यू वेन आई पुट एक्स इक्वल टू फाइव बाई टू फ्रॉम द गिवन फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट डेरिवेटिव फर्स्ट डेरिवेटिव देन इट विल बी अ जीरो so this will be a stationary values or critical values now take the second derivative second derivative of this this first derivative now take the second derivative second derivative is what uh, now minus 24 uh, i would like to multiply 3 into 8 minus 24 and 5 minus 2x square and again derivative of uh, 5 minus 2x. So minus 24, 5 minus 2x square, and this will be a minus 2. So 48 into 5 minus 2x whole square. This will be a second derivative. Now third derivative. Uh, third derivative. I can again multiply this 2 from 48. So 96, 5 minus 2x, and again derivative of without power 5 minus 2x. So ninety six five minus two x and again minus two. So one ninety two five minus two x. And lastly fourth derivative. 
fourth derivative. So fourth derivative is what 192 and the derivative of minus 2x is minus 2. So answer will be uh, 384. So fourth derivative will be answer 80, which is a non-zero, non-zero values, non-zero values. Now I would like to check whether uh, if I put uh, x5 by 2 from first derivative become equal to 0, in second derivative it will also become equal to 0 and third derivative it also becomes equal to 0. Non-zero value is what is where that is a fourth derivative. When I put the value of fourth derivative then will be a non-zero values. So, uh, uh, this will be a n derivative, that is n derivative, n derivative is even, is uh, even and uh, 384 is greater than 0, that is uh, 384 is uh, greater than 0. So, greater than 0 is a relative minima, so I can say it is a relative, uh, a relative minima. Now the question what is the inflection point? The inflection point is when I put fourth derivative at 5 by 2 the answer is 384. So this will be an inflection point. Inflection point. So this will be a question number 2. How can I solve the stationary values? Question number 1 is there. Now the question number 1, in question number 1 same situation is there, y is equal to x cube. So sabse pehle, first of all we take the first derivative, uh, f of x equal to x cube, first derivative 3x square. Now for stationary value, stationary values first derivative equal to 0, so 3x square equal to 0, x equal to 0, x equal to 0. Now take the second derivative, second derivative is what is 6x and I, when I put x equal to 0, so it will be a 0. Third derivative, third derivative again that is a 6 which is a non-zero, non-zero values. So, uh, uh, what is uh, non-zero values? That is an odd uh, n derivative, odd n, deri uh, odd n derivatives. Uh, now n, uh, n derivatives, derivatives, uh, odd n derivatives uh, 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 and uh, f triple prime 0 equal to 6 which is greater than 0. So greater than 0 is what? Uh, that is a, a relative maxima, uh, a relative uh, minima, that is a relative uh, minima, minima and inflection point is f triple point uh, derivative 0 equal to 6, so 0, 6 will be an inflection point. So this will be a question uh, for the stationary values.